Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Deco AX4300 Whole Home Mesh Wi-Fi 6 Router. Now this comes with three units, it's rated up to 7,000 square feet, and it retails for roughly 350 US dollars, at least at the time of this un unboxing. And in full disclosure, this was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes, but this is not a sponsored uh, video in any way, shape, or form. Now. As I go to get this out of the box, I will let all of you know I've been using a uh, Orbi Wi-Fi 6 system uh, since Wi-Fi 6 hit the market. It retails for over $1,000, is rated similarly in terms of coverage, and while it's been good, uh, it'll be very interesting to see whether or not this $350 system comes close. Dare I say, could it outperform it? We will find out. And I feel like this, uh, rather than really taking on uh, the Orbi product is aimed at taking on manufacturers like Google. Uh, between its form factor, price point, all of those things, that's at least what I see at face value. So when uh, TP-Link re reached out and asked whether or not I'd be interested in covering it, I said absolutely because it's always good to try out more affordable products that may in fact outperform the older, uh, more expensive products like my Wi-Fi 6 Orbi system. So before I get it out, of course, the marketing, Wi-Fi dead zone killer. I like that this has hardwired ports on the satellites. That's a big deal to me. Uh, also means more headroom for future proofing. Uh, you can see that 4,300 megabits per second across the system. Uh, no problem with streaming, I suppose. There shouldn't be. Uh, and, you know, over 150 devices, or they say up to 150 devices, it can handle. And positioning is always important, you know, where you're going to put this in the house. Ideally, you want the main unit uh, to be routed, rather positioned, in the center of the domicile, which you see on this little graphic that they're giving us as I get it out of the plastic with a little bit of issue. And then from there, you know, just make sure to create bubbles, if you will. That's the whole idea with a mesh system, so that the other satellites that are dependent upon that main routing unit at the center have a strong enough signal to essentially piggyback it and deliver almost the same throughput throughout your home. So let's go ahead. Let's see what else I've got to cut open to get this out of the box. So that might have been it. It is. Um, and it's exciting to me because this does potentially uh, mean that, you know, Wi-Fi 6 doesn't have to, you know, be expensive to be effective. And that's part of the beauty of what TP-Link does across their entire line uh, because they're always about affordable, you know, smart home uh, products. So let's see. There we go. The lid is open. And now for the reveal the three units, um, which again, I think from a design standpoint, they're pretty straightforward. I like that they're much smaller than my Orbi units. No question about it. So I'll go ahead and pop these out and they are really small compared to the Orbi units. Very, very small. And then you can see at the back, we've got the power port, your mainline uh, two and a half uh, gigabit ethernet port, and then you get two uh, individual one gig lines, which I really like. You know, we're in the age of gigabit being a thing, um, myself included. This is just building in that extra headroom for when we exceed uh, one gig connections, which trust me, I don't think it's that far away. So let's get out all three units. And uh, again, you know, these are the ports you're going to find across all of them, which I, that's critical. I mean, one of the biggest flaws with a lot of these inexpensive units is not accommodating uh, hardwired connections properly. And that limits you in more ways than one. If like me, um, you have, you know, a wireless amp from Sonos, you want a hardwired connection. You have a video game console in another part of the house and you actually do anything online multiplayer, you want another hardwired connection because while the mesh system will provide good throughput overall, at least my experience with the Orbi, it still is not going to give you necessarily enough extra oomph or actual bandwidth. So simple directions here that I've kind of clipped out of the box. And that's another promise from TP-Link on this is that it's going to be really easy to set up just like it's Google uh, counterparts. Download the app, turn off your modem, plug in your modem and your Deco unit connected to it and then finish your setup in the app. We're gonna find out if it is really all that simple. This um, 
cardboard insert that has those instructions also has all of your power bricks. I also like that we can already see here that we're getting an explanation from Deco about the light status. Again, good marketing, good packaging goes a long way. So yellow is your startup indicator, blue uh, setting up, and then green all as well, red, well, we all know what that means. You have a problem. So pretty much rounds things out, nothing else in the box. So let's take a look at the actual um, power supply units, or rather not supply, but wall warts, if you will. Let's see if I can open this without destroying it, which I should be able to. Sometimes I'm not. And it's exactly what you were expecting. So we've got three power bricks, one for each unit, and that is it. Nothing else in the box. So again, I'm excited to see how this works. If you want to make sure that you are future-proof to the max at this point, you will want the more expensive uh, Wi-Fi 6E unit. And who knows, maybe uh, Deco will send that one over for review as well. But again, that's really about headroom and more future-proofing. I think this is going to be more than enough for anyone who's looking at it right now. And as you may have guessed, this just goes right in there, that into the wall. And you saw the instructions. It's pretty much, you know, turnkey that you're just going to reboot your modem you know well disconnect it and then connect this and see how it goes and i'm really excited because if this really performs as suggested and the way that reviews have read since this hit the market this appears to be really tough to beat now of course i will test it we'll find out uh, whether or not that is the case as usual uh, but it's exciting to see again an affordable wi-fi 6 system mesh system that does really, at least from what I've seen, it appears to provide the oomph that everyone's looking for, but at a price point that no manufacturers um, would be happy about, such as, um, you know, my Orbi. Ethernet cable included for that main unit that you're gonna wire up to your router, and that's pretty much it. Your quick install guide, you probably won't need this. Um, I believe that those instructions that were given by TP are going to be enough to get you right in there. And then we have one little piece of paperwork about um, Wi-Fi 6 products. You know, can't connect to them correctly, uh, you know, wirelessly. And they're just letting you know that some older products um, and their drivers don't necessarily play well. Now, I've been using Wi-Fi 6 for several years. I really haven't seen too many issues. Some pieces of hardware uh, out of China or older things, as they're mentioning, will still default. Um, or don't like mesh systems, but there are ways around that. And hopefully I'm not going to run into that with this one. I definitely expect more polish here than on the older Orbi product, but we'll see. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, you know, hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.